Yo, what is going on everybody? Burger Creations back here with another video. And today I'm super excited to bring you guys this video because this is a part two of a video I made earlier on my channel and you guys absolutely loved that one. I mean, I can't thank you guys enough for all the support on that video. I think it's over 7,000 views right now and honestly, that is insane to think that video has 7,000 views when my channel is so young and so small. It's it's honestly so crazy, it's humbling. I, again, guys, thank you so much. Also, before we get into this video, I do wanna say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I believe it, I'm at 19 or 20% of you watching this video right now are subscribed. And I just wanna give a huge shout out to you guys because you guys are the best. And if you guys wanna join them, join the family, just hit that subscribe button and let's make a load of stuff together. Anyway, in today's video, I am bringing a part two of five useful prints that you guys can print easily. Now, these prints in order from the quickest print time to the longest print time. We got some really cool prints for today, and I think you guys are going to love them. And without further ado, let's just get straight into this, to five prints that are extremely useful and are easy to print. Let's do this. Alright guys, so the first print we have is going to be a bottle opener. Now, the actual name of this bottle opener is the Drunk Domo Beer Bottle Opener. Um, this is thing number 40740. It took 1 hour and 54 minutes to print, and it also took about 15 grams of filament. Now, this thing was a pretty easy print. I did do a raft and then supports. I would say the one difficult thing was these inside supports right here. These things got stuck with the angle of the actual... Uh, trying to get the screwdriver and the tightness of this corner. It was actually kind of tricky to get that out um, I was able to get it out and then I, you shove the penny right in here in order to make it an actual bottle opener So it's a cool thing because it uses an actual practical Item which is a penny and then an actual 3d print to create this bottle opener I think overall this bottle opener just came out like a really really nice clean easy print i mean besides what i mentioned before with the supports and the penny it was really really easy to actually uh print this and it came out really nice and you know there's a little bit of lines here and there but that's because of the filament not really because of the print itself i mean this thing is also kind of like nice and thin it's super lightweight and the best thing is that it actually works now obviously you do need a penny for this print but once you shove the penny in there, it turns into an actually functioning uh, bottle opener. And as you can see here, I used it just to test it out and it honestly opened really easy. I only had to readjust my hand because I just had it at a weird angle trying to go around the camera. But overall, it was a super, super easy print and something that can actually be super useful and also kind of super fun, fun and playful if you guys paint this right or if you're giving it out as maybe like a small gift or something to somebody I don't know. it's it's honestly a really great print it's very useful and it's something that I highly recommend all right so for our next print is going to be this sander or sanding block and this is going to be thing four six three nine five five two this took me about two hours and 36 minutes to print and it had just one more gram of filament than the bottle opener itself. Now this thing is actually a super, super useful sander and then this one is small and there's other ones that come in different sizes, but this can help get on those small details or if you're doing a model, help touch up the model. Now this thing is printed in three different parts as you can see right now. You have the bottom part, the top part, and then the screw itself to hold it all together. Now, once again, I did print with the raft. Uh, there was only two sets of kind of supports. It's basically these two holes and then the little under the screw. Um, otherwise, it was, again, just such a simple print to do, and it came out really, really nice. So this print came out super, super clean, and it is super, super useful because it's a nice handheld small Kind of, um, sand, sanding block and it kind of helps you get into those small corners with a little bit of sandpaper and kind of get the edge to clean off some of the parts. Now this block works where you put the sandpaper along the bottom and you wrap it around the top edges. Then once you slide the top piece in, you just screw the screw right through the hole which holds everything nice and secure. It's super easy to use and it's, you just get basically a whole sheet let's say of sandpaper you don't need any special sandpaper and use your 
exacto knife just to cut a small strip all along that sandpaper you might have to adjust it here and there depending on the size you want or the size you need with this print you fold in the edges you slide on the top screw in the screw and you're all ready to go it is literally that simple and this thing works really well i mean i kind of burned through the sandpaper because this is a very fine grade and I was using it on this print with a lot of rough edges. This one was more of a touching up one. I should have had a different sandpaper, but even though it still worked like a charm, you can see the plastic parts kind of flying around here and it was honestly much easier to do with this sanding block and you also get a little bit more pressure and it's a little bit put in a little bit more elbow grease to help you sand out and smooth your prints. Now for our next print, we are starting to get a little bit bigger in the print sizes now. These guys take a little bit longer to make, but they are still super useful. So this is the paintbrush stand. Now this is thing number 1616597. You have to print it in four parts. So there's one base two rising stands for both sides and then one top piece now this took me about 19 hours and 56 minutes with about using about 157 grams of filament so a little hefty on the hours not too bad on the filament but this print will take you time i did do an overnight print for this guy now overall this print came out super super well done the filament held out perfectly and it just looks amazing and the best thing is it works now you can see my prints actually very messy because this print was supposed to be in a much much earlier version of this video but a lot of prints fail but this one actually succeeded and I've been using this print ever since and I have to say I absolutely love it before I was just cleaning off the paint brushes or leaving them in the cup of water or you know anything just leaving them anywhere I had no organization and once I printed this it completely changed everything and it keeps my brushes super clean and super organized as well as providing two places to mix as well as even if you want to put water. So I actually use the two left holes to either put paint in or mix paint in and then use the right hole to pour my, my water in to dip my brushes. And again, this thing is just super, super useful and it can hold a lot of brushes. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six holes. So for the first two, they're a little bit bigger brushes so it's to be by themselves. But for the next three, I was able to do two and I honestly can even squeeze three in there. For the last one, I, it's all my smaller brushes, which I throw pretty much all of them together in that last hole. Now with this print is super easy to put together after the fact you pop in the two rising stands on the side and then put, slide up on the top now make sure you glue it my glue did actually come off because i actually dropped this thing but it still holds no matter what uh this is honestly just a super useful print that i use like literally every day for my paint from uh, and my brushes and it's just one of those prints that i highly recommend and if you need something like this or you need something to hold your brushes this is a great print to actually print all right guys so the next print we have is actually a little bit more complicated and a little bit more of a hefty print but honestly i have to say this is worth it and it is super cool i mean when i saw this on thingiverse i immediately had to just jump on and get this so what you're currently looking at is actually batch one of two batches for this print. Uh, the thing overall is it's a gyro cup, it's a gyroscope cup holder, which basically means it's a 360 degrees cup holder. So you can put your cup in it and no matter where you move it, the cup will not spill over. So this is thing 47785867. Now it took two batches. This first batch we're looking at took 16 hours and 27 minutes while using 118 grams. The second batch, these are all the interior parts for the gyroscope cup holder. Now these are the things that make it the gyroscope. So it's an outer ring, a middle ring, and an inner ring. This batch took about 12 hours and 14 minutes using 88 grams of filament. So all in all, to, if you print these two separately and you only have one printer, this print will take you about 20, over 28 hours, which is a little bit long, I'm not going to lie, but it is really cool. And I'm going to show you why it is in a second. So this print came out, came out pretty good, I would say. It's not, I would say one thing that I definitely messed up were the screws and the nuts. Um, honestly, I would say print that in a separate batch and make sure the infill and the density of the actual print 
is really strong because I made my screws kind of weak and they kept breaking and I kept having to reprint. That's why you actually see there's one white screw because at one point I ran out of black filament so I had to use white filament. Putting this print together was a little bit complicated with the whole systems and everything and trying to make sure it works correctly. Basically the three short screws are for the outer rim to connect to the feet and the four long ones are used to basically connect the long and the middle and the short all together but also make sure it can flip and move all in a gyro form. Now this thing basically allows you to have a cup anywhere you want and make sure it basically does not tip or spill over and it's honestly super super cool. Now you can see in this example I take uh, the print I'm going to be talking about next and I literally the whole cup holder is slanted sideways now this is a full cup of water and I put it in and it just adjusts itself and it is perfectly fine and that's why I, this cup holder is really cool and now they had pictures of using it on a couch on a bed now obviously if you hit the actual frame itself it will still knock over but it will hold the cup on uneven surfaces which is honestly super dope and whoever designed this print or the person that designed this print did a super super good job because it really works really well. Now this print obviously was made for wine but it worked, I tested on multiple cups, even a Yeti cup and they all work perfectly fine. Now it's a bit of a long print, bit of a bit of a complicated one to assemble but I have to say when it's all together and done it is super cool and honestly one of my favorite prints just because it's so useful with my bed and how I like to have my drink to, um, with me and usually I don't have a table to put it down on and I don't want to just put my cup on a random bed and have it spill over so it's super useful and I just absolutely love this print. Alright guys so our final print but not the least exciting print is a draw unit. Now this is actually thing number 3873672 and this is it's in a whole pack of a various size stackable uh, storage draws so these are it's a whole system that this designer made now this specific one that I did was I think a 2x2x2 two by two by two draw where, where it can fit in four draws all in total and honestly this thing is super useful super cool and it works great but it did take a long time to print so this actually has four batches, and if you do a full draw system, it is five batches. I actually didn't end up printing the top draw, and I'll explain why. So for the first batch is the actual draw holder case, if you want to call it itself. Um, so this took about two days, one hour, and 19 minutes with using 262 grams of filament. The next three batches were all the same. They were... Uh, the draws that actually go into it now I only printed three instead of four but each draw was 12 hours and 37 minutes of printing time with using about 88 grams overall this draw unit came out absolutely stunning now there was a problem on my actual base unit the the unit that actually holds the draws the filament was wet and snapped halfway through or not um like two-thirds of the way through that's why my draws actually stick out a little bit I decided that it's actually fine because the draws still stay no matter how how much I fill them and they still work so it's not that big of a deal but it was a rough print overall because the filament was all messed up but nevertheless I did do copper draws with the white box because I thought it just looked really cool now I only printed three draws and that is because the top draw I use for things that actually don't fit in these size draws so for instance my my larger vice grip and my scissors and whatever else I can fit in there that doesn't fit in the draw itself can actually I slide right in on the top. So I left that one open on purpose for that exact reason. Now the other draws you can fill with whatever I want. I actually have a, usually a hot glue gun on the bottom one and the middle one I have a small needle nose pliers, uh, my wire cutters, and a small screwdriver. Now this print is is this designer actually made a whole draw system and you can print pretty much any draw you need, any size that you need and they can all stack together. These all have lines that way they can slide in together and honestly print overall just works super duper well. It was a great addition to my workbench and honestly I don't regret printing at all and like this video says this is an extremely extremely useful print.
Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a comment down below and smash that like button to let me know that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of this series, you can leave a comment down below. So just to let me know, because I think you guys love this series, I love making this series, and honestly I'd love to keep this series going, either monthly or bi-monthly. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family as we go along and build a bunch of new prints. I got some exciting new content coming up, which includes something big, something special. That I'm not going to spoil too much, but all I'm going to say is I purchased something. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not, I think I already gave you too much. I think I already gave you too much. But watch out for next week's video because I think it's going to be pretty cool and it's something new and could bring in a whole new line of videos. Alright guys, so that's been it. Hope you guys enjoy your day. And again, thank you so much for all the support on my channel. And I'll catch you next week. Peace out.